Buju, Kinemagi and Nene Ireland Indigenous, and welcome to this week's technology. Our first of two lessons will be on Quest 2 image capture. We begin our lesson in the 21 Things for Students webpage. This is linked directly into our Google Classroom. At the top of the page, there will be a brief video for you to watch, an introduction, an I can statement. So at the end of this lesson, the goal is for you to be able to take a screenshot on your device, key vocabulary such as copy, which means to move files, folders, and selected text to another location, paste, which means to insert copied information into a new location. So we often hear copy and paste. Upload, to upload is to transfer an image, document, or file from the computer to a website. And the screenshot is an image taken to record open items on your computer screen. So let's begin with our introductory video. Did you get your report finished? Yeah, and I have a screenshot on the cover. What do you mean screenshot? How in the world did you do that? Oh man, it's so easy. Come over here and let me show you. Great. Well, the teacher is coming. I guess I should wait to show you later. Okay. I can't show you right now, but you can go to the 21 Things site and watch the tutorials like I did. Thank you so much. So we'll go down through the lesson and give you the steps. Um, remember we have these that you can expand, seeing more than one window or application at a time. Uh, you'll need to look whether you're using a Chromebook or Windows 10. Most of you are using a Chromebook. Then screenshot tips, make sure you watch the videos. They will show you how to do these things step-by-step -step directions. They give you a lot of information. Also the same thing for iPads, iPhones, and iPods, because this class isn't just about being able to use a Chromebook. Mac, Windows screenshot tips, the snipping tool, which is a very nice thing to have. Um, you're using things and copying and pasting things. When you are Going through this lesson, it's important to make sure you open up the student checklist. Again, whenever you get a checklist, it says make your own copy. You do that by going file, make a copy. It'll go into this folder, which will be saved on your Google Drive. And then the title of it is copy off and just keep this title. Order to basics. You may also put your first name here. So if I was me, I'd be Mike, copy of, and then the rest of it. And I already have a copy of this, so I don't want to do it. When you are done with the lesson, what I want you to start doing is sharing it with me, these checklists. That kind of gives me an idea of who is where and what they're doing. You do that by clicking share. You will type in M Ireland. It's, well, not that one eggchipschool.net. I'll try to fill in for you. So I would click that in, that's me, and then I'd hit send. Do that yet, because um, I'm gonna share it with myself then. One way to, to check off things is just maybe put a letter if you're choosing, like if you wanted to put an X in there, you could just type the letter X. Um, do the Quizlet, and you see these blue, that's uh, active hyperlink, so you could click there. Um, you may not be able to always save files if you're using a device that, like a Chromebook, that you may not belong to you. Um, so if that's the case, then I'll understand um, that you didn't save it, but I want you to be able to remember how to do these things. And then when you're done, oh, there's a bonus help a classmate. And that could be a sibling. It doesn't have to be someone in the class. Um, I don't hold you 
yeah, and say, oh man, you didn't do the bonus, no credit for you. Because realistically, this isn't so much about credit as it is about making sure you have the knowledge necessary to be successful using the online devices. If you have any questions about these quests, make sure you email me at mirland at sidechipschool.net. There will be one more episode this week that'll be found in the Google Classroom. And make sure you're getting the experience with these computers. It's a great opportunity in the Chromebooks um, to be really quick and knowledgeable about them. And that's sort of the point of this tech program right now. If, but for the rest of today, I hope you all have a minute, and bama pee.